Hey, how's it going? I'm Roy from Rammer Time, and welcome back to Satisfactory version 1.0. This is the second episode. The first episode, I took my time. I slowly set up a very basic setup, and uh, yeah, we just got a few bits and pieces done. Uh, the onboarding is complete, and now we're, we're kind of ready to start working our way through the tiers. And in this episode, the plan is to set up some power infrastructure using the biomass burners, uh, get some slightly more organized automation and we're going to set up the space elevator and try to get the automation for the first space elevator parts for, for phase one and see if we can get that underway if we get that complete in this episode that'll be good oh yeah let's let's see what happens So if we check in here, if you remember, or if you saw, we did um, we did the um, the base building just because for me this is important. I like putting things neatly and tidily and so on. But uh, that's now good. And that's also really handy for navigation. If we want to go out and explore and get up to anywhere high, it's always great to have these ramps because they enable you to to basically scale higher areas. So next we're going to look at getting logistics done and field research so we can get our MAM and our MAP and all of this wonderful stuff. So let's start with logistics and we've already got the stuff so we're just gonna go ahead and unlock this one and hit boom which is great so that is now going to Milestone take reached. off. Conveyor belts can now merge, split and lift to save space and enhance the productivity of your factory. Fixit encourages you to consider investing in verticality when it comes to factory logistics. If you feel stressed by this complexity, imagine yourself on the shore of a vast and calm ocean. Breathe in, visualize all the people relying on you. The sea is made of billions of faces, each staring at you with hope and tears in their eyes. <laughs> Breathe out, feel refreshed and focused on your duties. Nice, okay, great. So what is gonna be next? So field research, and then we'll start moving into tier two. I really wanna prioritize getting the chainsaw with a solid fuel so that I can get my uh, sort of initial power station up and running. But let's get this guy because I want the MAM. So let's select this. Now we've already got quite a bit. We can't do it yet though because our pod is launched and it won't be back for another three minutes. So that's fine. We've got some other bits and pieces we can be doing in the meantime. The first thing I want to think about is where I'm going to place my uh, my power factory. Oh, hello doggo. What have you got? Ooh, what is this? Aluminium casing, of course it is. Thank you very much. Cool, that's loud. Um, I have been doing a few bits and pieces offline, but literally all it was was a bit of crafting just to give me some some, uh, some stuff. And I also went around and I just collected a few of the, uh, the the nuggets of metal that are lying around. So we've got some chiterium, some bauxite, some sulfur. Um, and I did find some... No, it was the doggo brought me some circuit boards and some... Uh, Alclad aluminium sheets. So we've got all of that already. Um, but yeah, we just need to kind of. Yes, hello. Uh, we just need to kind of get on. You still haven't got a name yet. Nobody has commented with a suggestion for your name. So as soon as someone does, we will give you a name other than Doggo with long name. I promise. Okay. Let's see. There was something I wanted to try which I didn't do before. I wanted to put something in the toilet. There's some copper ore. Put that in the toilet. Just puts one. And does that now just stay in there? Oh, we've blocked the toilet. <laughs> oh, but it's gone. So it did work. We were able to flush something down the toilet fluid dynamics it's back so we can actually do our next our next one so we are going to chuck all of this stuff in and say boom and now we can do our mam stone reached supply the molecular analysis machine referred to as the mam with local resources to research and develop new technologies potential technologies include exploration tools weapons and factory buildings these are essential for maximizing your pioneer efficiency and alignment with Fixit's core pillars. Construct, automate, explore and exploit. 
To advance FixIt's mission, all notable phenomena, resources, technology, or other influence should be investigated regardless of any perceived danger, as stated in the Pioneer contract. I'm pretty sure they've updated that model. That looks really good. So much better than I remember it. Look, even the back is fully detailed. It's... I know I go on about it a lot, but honestly, this game is just incredible. I think I paid £18 for it as well back in the day. Right, so look, we can now... We've got so much to unlock and do. Right, brilliant. I'm going to go and grab the stuff out of the other box because I collected some stuff here. I can't remember exactly what I'm going to need, but... Uh, We'll make sure we've got as much on us as we need. I can just hear the dog panting beside me. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Right. So let's have a look at some of this thing. So alien megafauna. So that one we've got. So excellent. The remains researched belong to an organism now dubbed the fluffy tailed hog. It has many characteristics that would likely classify it among the Suidi family were it native to Earth. Hog remains so can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. Right, we haven't fought any of those things yet, so I'm gonna not worry about any more in here for the moment. So we need to make the proteins to carry on. What are we gonna get in here? So inflated pockets, belt, the rebar gun. And the inhaler. Okay, so Caterium or Caterium. Okay, we have that. Caterium the metal has been named Caterium after Fixit's greatest CEO. Oh, the zip line. Oh, it I'm, has I'm been added as a viable oh, alternative loads. to gold in industrial applications, specifically in advanced electronics, due to its superconductivity, malleability, and corrosion resistance. Nice. But yes, I definitely I want this one, but I'm a little way off it yet because I'm gonna have to. I've got 80, so I can I can unlock this, which gets us new shop products. We've got to build all the shop yet. Oh, there's so much to do. Right, let's see what else we can do right now. So we've got the nut. So do that. This fruit, dubbed the barrel nut after its distinctive color, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. This fruit, dubbed the paleberry due to its tendency to stay light in color even when ripe, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. Okay, and then we'll finish off by doing the mushroom or bacon agar This mushroom, dubbed bacon agaric due to its uncanny resemblance to raw bacon, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. Right, we're not unlocking anything more in there for a while. Right, blue power slug, we have one of those. This semi-slug, now dubbed power slug, is early in its life cycle and has retained only part of its potential energy storage capacity, giving it its blue color. Power slugs are capable of extracting latent energy from their surroundings, including through a form of photosynthesis, and preserve it in their porous semi-crystalline shell over their lifetime. This explains why they rarely move after having found a suitable location. Power slugs extract latent energy from their surroundings to sustain themselves. By tuning the object scanner to the particular potential energy signature, it is now able to locate them against the background environmental static. Okay, cool. So, all right, we've unlocked a load of them. We need to make rotors before we can do this one, which will unlock the power shard. The power shard we can then use to overclock our buildings, but we don't need that right at the moment, but that will be handy. So let's get the quartz underway. We'll see what that gives us. The crystalline mineral was a previously unknown variation of quartz, with uniquely large and flawless crystals, normally only found in synthetic quartz. The industrial application of this mineral will follow that of its synthetic counterpart, specifically in communication and exploration technologies. Okay, so under quartz, now 
I really want to unlock this. Um, and I don't have enough on me because I really want to get to these because they make you run faster. So that's good. So let's see what we have in the sulfur. This unknown chemical element was in reality an unusual mixture of solid sulfide and sulfate materials from which sulfur can be extracted. Sulfur's primary use lies in fertilizers, which we have no use for. Instead, this element enables access to more volatile obstacle clearing and pioneer defending tools. Right, so that is everything that, uh, unlocked in the MAM that I can unlock. Uh, I am now going to go ahead and unlock the obstacle clearing. Boosh! Milestone reached. Solid biofuel, created from any biomass, ensures maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, the chainsaw allows for the removal of tougher wood and coral foliage. Additionally, your pocket dimension has been inflated to increase inventory size. Inspirational note, will you be the Fixit employee of the month? You could be if you construct, automate, explore and exploit by eliminating all obstacles to efficiency. This isn't just fun, it's contractually mandated, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> contractually mandated, fun, fun, fun. So what do I need to make one then? Uh, the chainsaw. Oh. oh, I've used all my screws. I just need some more screws. Screws, screws, screws. Bear with me. Oh, quick tip here, by the way. Now, and I don't know how long this has been in, because I don't remember this. Uh, you just tap space once, and it will just keep um, crafting until you tell it to stop. I didn't realize this. Yesterday, I was... <laughs> Genuinely, I was using a magnet on the keyboard. <laughs> okay, let's make our chainsaw. Hang on. Yep. <laughs> Thought I was making 13 there for a second. Right. I also do wood. I do would like to do wood. A make a. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, did I use? Oh, I used all my reinforced iron plates on the chainsaw. We should make an object scanner as well, really, because that will make life a bit easier. Screws. screws. It's because of screws. This game needs so many screws. I am going to build a little dedicated screw factory with one of the uh, the iron nodes, just because you use so many screws in it. And it sounds like she's back again. So we can almost unlock something else now, but uh, we're in the middle of this at the moment, so we're going to make our object scanner next. There we go, we now have our object scanner. So we only have two hand slots, so we put a chainsaw in one for now. Oh, look at that. Nice. But we need some, uh, some biomass logs. We need some loggage. Um, oh, there's a llama. What was I looking for? Why have I come in here? I didn't want to come in there. That was that one of those things where you walk into a room and you can't remember why you've just come in there. So, solid biofuel. Needs biomass, which of course we have plenty of, so we'll, we'll create ourselves some biofuel. I just remembered why I went in here. I was going to change the colours. What was that noise? Oh, it's the biomass burners. Right, I was going to change my colour, my primary colour. I was going to change it from the, the standard orange. I was going to go for, for something a little bit more blue, maybe. Which looks actually kind of odd. I might go black. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I think I'm going to go black for now because now my chainsaw looks a lot better <laughs> as does me zapper right okay good 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 uh, let's think what now do we need to do let's have a quick look see what next um, logistics mark 2 so that's for our mark 2 belts so we need quite a bit of stuff for that this one I would like to get that underway actually I probably do have enough for the uh, for that and the part assembly stuff yeah, okay. And the smart plane, obviously, we're going to need that. But then again, I want to spend some tickets. What's better? Tickets or progress? Progress? Progress. Progress. Let's start with this one. Let's see. Let's see what we can actually already do. 
Yeah, we're going to need a ton more screws. What a surprise. And we also need more bars, but I do have those being made over here. Okay, we'll just grab all of those. We should have plenty of concrete. That's been ticking away nicely. So we can pop in that, but we've still got uh, lots missing. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to do a, a little screw session. We'll come back to that in a minute. Um, right, I've changed my mind for now. Because I think I've got almost enough to do this one right now. No, I haven't. Rory, you're an idiot. I think it's because I've left... Have I left the stuff in here? I have over... Oh, I've put... Oh. <laughs> I've totally messed this up. I've half put stuff in there. And now I've half put stuff in another one. I thought when I stopped the other one, it would give me the stuff back. But no. Okay, right. That's not a problem. So, we have plenty of wire. So... Yeah, we'll just grab all of that. We can put the wire in. The metal plates, we're going to have to make those. It's a bit annoying. Right, we got it. We put it in, and here we go. Boosh. Right, we've unlocked Milestone the resource reached. sink. You have been given access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on Exoplanet's bonus program, also known as Awesome. Your awesome input allows Fixit to comprehend our amazing universe more clearly. In appreciation of this, we have generously set up an internal, closed economy with exclusive rewards and currency. Directing parts of varying quantity and complexity into the awesome resource sink will grant Fixit coupons. These coupons can be redeemed in the awesome shop for highly desirable items such as new foundations, walls, factory attachments, cosmetics, parts, and more. Next time you have additional resources, just remember to go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. Excellent. So, I can now build uh, an awesome shop and an awesome sink. So, the shop, of course it needs screws. I really I really need to improve my, <laughs> my setup here. God's sake. So, we need... Um, let's, let's just put this in here and I'll quickly get this up and running. Right, after what felt like... You know, a small eternity. I can now build my sink, which I'm going to build here. Uh, just off to this side, possibly, just so I still have a little bit of an entranceway. And we're going to build the shop just beside it. Okay. And there we go. Let's see. Let's just keep it simple for the moment. We're going to chuck one of these down. Oh, the dog is now in the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> we do need to give this power, right? Hopefully this doesn't blow our power supply. Um, so let's put something in there. Let's put this in for now. And this will start earning tickets. And it's blown the power. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, we're we're uh, we've got plenty of power. It's uh, plenty of um, thing. I just I need another a biomass burner. Oh. So we're just going to set up a temporary. So just a temporary quick power setup. Because that is next on the list is to sort out the power and make it all so much better. So that's now going in there, which is good. Ah, oh, yeah, the DNA capsules. I forgot about all of this. Right. So obviously this is really slow. What this is giving us, so it's uh, not not the best. But do you know what? I don't need these for a while. Let's stick those in there. This uh, should give us quite a few tickets, of, like very quickly, I think, by the time it reaches there. Just waiting for it. Come on, come on. There it goes. And kabooshies. There it goes. Oh, look at that. We've got a load of tickets already. Nice. Right, that gave us, gave us five. I love that. Print out our tickets and put them there. It used to be if you put a ticket back in there, it would unlock the cyber truck. I wonder if that still does that. Right, so, yes, there is so many cool things that I want to unlock. It's, uh, it's absolutely silly. But there's something particularly important. Obviously, we can't do labels yet. Oh, custom finishes. Okay, nice. Concrete. I do like a nice bit of concrete. Then all the patterns, of course. Brilliant. I love all of this stuff. Stairs. Stairs. Oh, I'm tempted to go for concrete and stairs. But, no, it was the ladder. The ladder is three. Okay. I might grab the ladder for now. Yeah, there's loads of things. All the barriers. Oh, this is so cool. Construction fences. I don't remember that. That must be new. Equipment. The coffee mug, of course. And then, of course, you can buy parts. So you can spend a ticket and get 500 screws. 
Okay, well, I'm not going to do that, but let's get the... What did I get? The, the ladder and let's get some stairs. Okay, let's check those out. Boom. Great, so we've got a ladder and we've got some stairs. So that is a good start. What are you doing? Have you got anything there for me? No. Right, that is how my factory looks right now. I'm going to now do some work on it because I'm fed up with having to manually craft stuff. So I'm going to now put together a basic power station setup for the biomass burners and then something to create me a very, very basic shopping mall so that I can just grab whatever I need when I need it without having to craft it myself. Yeah, let's do it. A few moments later. And there we go. Um, yeah, I kind of... I, I, I made some progress, uh, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, it kind of went a bit nuts. Let me just quickly go over it and we'll go down and have a proper look. It's kind of in zones. Uh, you've got a little power area over the back here. You've got here is all my copper uh, stuff, which is really at the moment, it's only the, the wire and the cables, but that's a, a little section dealing with that. Uh, we've got a really slow but uh, you know nice simple um, concrete factory there. Then a load of iron being smelted, which gets taken over to this side, and this is the kind of the iron um, factory. So everything over here is being uh, sorted out. It's fairly well optimized. Everything is waiting on Mark II belts at the moment, but that we will sort out soon. And I'm also ready there with those two um, to start automating, creating the uh, the re reinforced plates, but I need to unlock the next tier for that. So let's go and have a quick look. Hey, 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 hey. How about you calm yourself down? Let's go and have a quick look down there and see what we've done. Out. So, yeah. Hey there, birdie. So, yeah, I kind of, <laughs> I, yeah, went over everything. I built this kind of little area here for this. I just, I like kind of making that a centerpiece. Um, and then I built my sort of first power facility using the biomass burners and there's a really cool new thing about the biomass burners and that is that now they can take a belt I have my nine I can't count I have my 12 biomass burners here all being fed with biomass poop tubes from a clever little system that I've built underneath and I'll show you so this is kind of the way I typically do this. I always create two bins. Now I don't have uh, signs yet, so what I do is I place what it is just in front, just because, you know. And the idea is you, any wood you collect, you chuck in this bin, any leaves, you chuck in this bin. This bin is just for general rubbish, and all of that goes up into that awesome sink up there. How do we get inside here? We'll use this, this one here, there we go. This will get us in. And yeah, what's happening is, this is a bit messy in here, but it's all hidden, so it doesn't matter. They're just simply turning those two things into uh, biomass, and then that goes down and gets turned into the biomass poop tubes, which then gets sent up into the uh, the biomass burners above. So it's a really nice little system. Now, back in the day when I used to do this, I would just have these all going into a bin, and then every now and then I'd go around and I'd refill all of the biomass burners. But now it's all automated. That's that's amazing. So, you know, when you when you're chucking in your leaves and stuff, you know, you 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 don't have to put too many in there. It lasts for ages. So so this is really good. And as I say, there's also the awesome sink in there, which is uh, allowing uh, me just to to dump. You know, if I've got something that I don't want to keep. Oh look, I've got some leaves. I might as well chuck those in. I have a little bit of wood as well, so we'll chuck that in too. And just as long as every time I collect some, I stick them in there, it, it you know keeps me powered for ages. I've got enough up there for 360 uh, megawatts of power. So yeah, so that's that's the power, and that's that's working really nicely. And then this is my kind of mini uh, mall. So just all the main important stuff is coming to here. And I've done a kind of little trick. Now this works better if you can have um, proper foundations, but unfortunately I didn't have the the foundation below. But Basically, to get this kind of effect here, again, because I don't have monitors, I like this. All I did was I got my, I got a, a, you know, a stand, hold down control so it snaps to the bin and put it approximately where I think it's going to be. You don't want it too close. There we go. And then we just delete that and pop that back in there. And there you go. It gives you a kind of way of easily telling what's in each bin. And these are all sort of starting to fill up quite nicely. 
Um, it's a bit of a spaghetti junction, but it's one of those things. It's kind of organized chaos. Like, everything's intentional. Everything knows where it's going and all of that. It's still neat, but it's also kind of a little bit nuts. You come around the back here and you can kind of see there's even more craziness going on. But I love all of this. I think this is great fun. And then over here, just a ton of uh, constructors making um, uh, the rods, the screws. We've got two floors of screws because you can make... Well, you just need so many screws. Uh, it's just crazy. So that's all coming along really nicely. And in terms of power, yep, yeah, we're still good for ages. So we've got no worries about power for a little while. When we do, I'll just add another floor and add another 12 there. So that will take us up to, you know, a good 800 odd, maybe seven, seven, 760, or I don't know. Whatever the maths are, you, you could do that. If you want. I know you won't. And there's yeah, my little concrete factory. So yeah, like I say, everything is now waiting on me upgrading the um, the belts. So that's a, another massive job I've got to do. But first, we need to unlock this one. Problem is, it's 50 of those, so I'm going to have to make those by hand. No, I haven't got to make those by hand. What am I talking about? No, I'm going to unlock that first, and I'm going to do my assemblers. And that's going to get me those. Okay, so let's hit that button and go... Uh, boom. Milestone reached. The assembler can produce more complex parts. Oh, I love that. The first project part, smart plating, which is crucial for initiating project assembly. Project parts must be delivered to the space elevator. By completing your contracted duties as part of project assembly, you will definitely be helping achieve fix it company goals without any other ulterior motive. Note. Humans cannot craft project parts. Do not worry about your inadequate crafting skill when compared to an assembler. Fixit cherishes your innate human abilities, such as walking, striking objects, and commodifying natural resources. So, we are so close, because basically the space elevator... Oops, I've just brought up the console. I don't mean to do that. We've actually, we've, you know, we've basically got the stuff to do the space elevator right now. So, that is what we're going to do. We're going to do the space elevator. See space elevator. Yep, we have now got enough. Just got to choose somewhere to put it. Now it doesn't really matter. Well, um, because you know you can always move it. But originally I was actually going to place it exactly here where we're standing right now. But I built all this on it, so we're not going to be doing that. And I don't think it will really fit there. So we've got to think where are we going to put this where it's going to look good. There's just not enough space up here. I was thinking up up just up above. There's just not enough space. How about over here? Is it going to fit over here? Okay, I found quite a large area here. It's just up above behind the base. There's a few trees in the way. We'll soon sort that out. There we go. Right, and let's see. Where's my computer? There it is. So we're going to place that right there. I'm going to back up and watch this most amazing animation that is the space elevator penetration. It does such a good job with making you feel the weight of it, though. Like, you really do feel like... It's just amazing. Project assembly initialized. Congratulations, Pioneer. The space elevator will now automatically connect with the project assembly orbital platform. Project assembly is divided into phases, each of which require the delivery of project parts, such as smart plating, via the space elevator. Subsequent phases unlock access to new tiers with more advanced technologies to construct, automate, explore and exploit. It is time to be honest, this project is part of the Save the Day program, the largest united undertaking in human history, destined to save us all. 
Earth is in peril and only Fixit pioneers offer hope for survival. Fixit is counting on you. Humanity is counting on you. Do not let Fixit down. So, there we go. We got the space elevator built. I don't know whether I'll keep it there. It's kind of in a slightly odd position. Anyway, so it's the smart plating. We've got to do 50 of the smart plating. Out. Yep, we unlocked that with the parts assembly. That's good. Okay, let's have a quick look because I can't remember the details of this. So, this is one reinforced plate plus one rotor. So, we're going to automate that. I've already set up so that I've got... I've lost it. Where's it gone? It's over here. There we go. So, we've got here, we've got screws, we've got iron plates. Now, what I'll do is I'll take a feed from here and we'll do that right now so uh, we'll split this right there uh, right so now we have all the bits so we can build a couple of constructors so we'll build over here we'll build not constructors assemblers we'll build three assemblers um, and then out of that we'll have smart plates we'll have rotors and then we'll have that making the uh, no we'll have refi uh, what are these called? Reinforced plates. So we'll have reinforced plates, we'll have rotors being made. And then they will um, then also be making these smart plates. Excellent. Right, okay. So that is what we're going to do. And you know what? I think we... But before that... Yeah, no. I've got one more thing I want to do, which is... I want to unlock Logistics Mark II and I want to upgrade a bunch of the belts. So I'm going to be doing... Th I'm going to do that now. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Here we go. Try again. <laughs> and... Boosh! Milestone oh, look reached. at that view now. Exit would like to remind you of your contractual obligation towards efficiency. Recreational use of belts and lifts does not count towards work hours and will put you on the list. Stay efficient. Don't disappoint. Fix it. Oh, it's also cool. Right. There we go. So we have unlocked everything. Oh, no, we haven't. We haven't quite done these, but it needs rotors. Uh, worry about that later. I'm not too worried about jump pads at the moment. Oh, fine. Here it comes. It's back again. There we go. Right. Well, fine. Just for completionism. To be complete, let's come in here and we'll do this one as well. Here we go. And baboosh. Milestone reached. The Fixit jump pad combines high technology and innovation for optimized factory traversal and an ideal travel experience. Clarification. Ideal travel experience not guaranteed. Individual results may vary. Pioneers are responsible for all workplace accidents resulting from jump pad usage. <laughs> right, okay, so there we go. Um, that is everything in tier 0 through to 2 unlocked and done. So we can't unlock the next until we do the smart plates and put them into the space elevator. Which is going to be the next video. Because, yeah, that's, that's quite enough for one day. Made some real progress. From where we started, quite a slow start, suddenly accelerated quite a lot. Very excited to carry this on. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Remember, subscribe to Ramatime. Uh, hit the little bell and you'll get notified when a video does go up. And yeah, that's all superb. I will we'll see you in the next one. Have fun, take care. Bye for now.